Morales is Miles Morales. However, can I just go ahead and say that this whole little shtick of Miles Morales is Miles Morales is really like annoying at this point. So there's been like a lot of discourse, and I mean a lot of discourse on whether or not you should rage at the fact that Insomniac is going to go ahead and make Miles Morales their main Spider-Man from where it looks like, I mean from what we heard. And again, it's split down the middle. Like from a writer's perspective, I can kind of see how this is the move because in writing this often happens, you know, the passing the torch doesn't necessarily mean it works all the time. I guess right off the bat, if I go back to my weep days, the most prevalent moment where it shows that this doesn't work is when, well, Goku was redconned. You want to call it that? I mean, he passed the torch down to his son, you know, and that just, that didn't pick up. I guess if you want to make another comparison, the whole Naruto and Boruto thing, I guess. I, I know, anime speak, whatever. But you get the point. Sometimes this whole approach doesn't work. Sometimes it does, and it can be very nice. Now, in the case of this, the problem here stems from people starting to think that this is all because of woke ideology. Shoehorn Miles Morales into Peter Parker's Spider-Man space. Miles Morales is the real Spider-Man now because we are completely eliminating an existing character and pushing him out of the picture. He doesn't matter anymore. You are coping, coping and seeding. You just can't accept what you're seeing. Yes, you're coping, coping and seeding. Has happened, but now, I mean, it's already been going on enough in the comics well now they are trying to do this in the video games you as are coping coping and seeding you just can't accept what you're seeing yes you're coping coping and seeding spider-man 2 writer Brittany morris confirms that miles morales will be the main spider-man in the insomniac Urgh, i'm angry no. <laughs> Gee. now normally you would have a case to say this is not the case. However, given that, you know, Spider-Man 2 is the way it is, I think at this point it's safe to say that, well, anybody that said they're trying to can off Spider-Man and make it even more woke, I, I think they have a legitimate point. Spider Mid 2. <laughs> Now I tried, guys, okay? You know, in my last video I said, I'm hoping I can move away from talking about this absolute dumpster fire of a video game, and well, as usual, man, just when you think it's over, these developers always find a way to one-up themselves at every opportunity. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. This is where the fun begins. That's right, guys. Spider-Man 2's lead writers confirmed that Miles Morales is now the main Spider-Man in the Insomniac universe. So I just want to say to everybody who tried to say that Peter was not getting sidelined in this story, that said that he wasn't nerfed or made to look weak and worthless in comparison to Miles, you know, the people who claimed that Peter wasn't absolutely getting cucked overall in the story. But, you know, it feels good, man, because we can clearly see that the entire intent of Insomniac Games this entire time was to replace place Peter with Miles, which anyone with a functioning set of ears, eyes, and two fucking brain cells to rub together could have come to that conclusion after playing Marvel's Spider-Man 2 and looking at that horrible fucking plot. Dude. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, Griffin Gaming has probably made the best video on this thus far. That's not to say that if you have a black character as a main character, that necessarily means this thing is woke, guys. Because if there wasn't all the ridiculous pandering in the game itself, it looks like the favoritism for Miles is right there. Not to mention, in a lot of Miles quests, it's a lot of like, from what I've heard, so take this with a grain of salt, or you guys can confirm about it in the comment section, but I heard there's like a lot of woke stuff for Miles. You know, the infamous Miles rising up to high schoolers and whatnot, and then, you know, so that they can go to homecoming and woo, I don't know, 
whatever. And then there's the whole death quest, which, by the way, we haven't gone over yet. You know, we were planning to go over that. I might just do it on a live stream, to be honest. But yeah, there's that one, which that element in itself, I maybe mean, people want to say, huh, is doing a, mi a mission for a, for a deaf person really woke? I mean, it kind of depends on how you look at it, I guess, if you want to say that it isn't. But I guess at that point, you kind of have to ask, is this a self-insert character? Is this meant to pander to somebody? I mean, <laughs> factually speaking, one of the developers retweeted a tweet from somebody that was inspired by this and they could connect to it. So maybe there's an argument to be had that it does target certain people for brownie points to look even better. And again, you can correct me in the comments section, but I did see... A couple of people tell me that the original character for Haley was based off of a character from the Miles Morales comics. However, they just, as per usual, completely changed her. So made her this pandering nonsense. Now, once again, you guys could go ahead and let me know if they're right or wrong about that. But if that is the case, that's even more credence. So yes, this whole thing is woke nonsense. And it, again, is Insomniac capitalizing it. See, when Insomniac does this shit, though, now it becomes even more difficult to tell whether or not this was a just pure narrative uh, story crafting idea or just part of the plan, so to speak. Now, I won't get obnoxious like that fucking dumb bitch Melanie Mack where she's just fucking terrible. She's just very annoying. Spider-Man 2 because you are... Um you have ingested enough soy to actually want to play the game. <laughs> the cackles, the blah, blah, blah. It won't get like that. And I won't get overly preachy, like saying Miles Morales is Miles Morales. <laughs> people are still going to play the game regardless. So it's not really that big of a deal. I think the people that say, I want you to stay true. To the comics pal or kind of like at least from that side i mean they're just kind of like i don't know being annoying and <laughs> they don't really mean it like there are certain instances where just staying true to the source material is like a must right for example michael b jordan playing hercules is probably one of the stupidest things that hollywood has ever wanted to you know dabble with if they're even still going along with that idea i swear to god i saw that on twitter and i was like what the hell are they thinking are you really gonna put michael b fucking jordan as hercules now you're just that that's even more blatant fucking <laughs> weird pandering than uh insomnia i could ever do pal but yeah insomniac has nobody to blame but themselves for looking at you know for having their critics say hey this was all a conspiracy so that we can get rid of peter parker if you really think about it though it kind of does i don't know it, it seems weird because so again not really spoilers maybe semi spoilers but i haven't played the actual campaign or played the game because i'm gonna wait for it to come to the glorious pc masteries but i do hear certain things about like Peter getting cucked a lot, Miles having to overly help Peter, apparently. It's not just like, it, it almost seems like they're not equals, uh, apparently. Again, this is so alleged because I haven't played it, so you guys can once again correct me in the comment section. Apparently Peter gets like cucked by Harry at the very beginning of the game, which is just not, it's not kosher, not kosher at all, ladies and gentlemen. Not a good look, as they say, not a good look. Uh, you know other things and then you know the cherry on top of the cake would be like basically this anonymous user on 4chan kind of just like makes it uh you know <laughs> puts it right there you know i'm gonna stop being spider-man for my mental health although i think what you know they were really going for is that peter wants to try to have a normal life who knows who really knows again it's one of those problems where you can't really trust Insomniac Games or the developers to not have an agenda based off of the shit they've done already that you just kind of are wary and you just have to look at them like, I don't know, pal, I think you're trying to you're trying to trick me here. <laughs> no, 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 no.